What up, yo? I'm going to do a season seven, episode two, Walking Dead reaction video. Here we go. Pick up where we left off with Carol. Oh shit. I don't know if we can trust these motherfuckers. We'll see what happens. For starters, how is she so delirious with just like a bullet graze wound to her arm? What the fuck's up with that, yo? Yo, these horsemen are pretty badass, yo. Finally, somebody who wears at least a little bit of armor. Thank you, riders. My god. And spears? Great. You know, I'd like to see some halipard action up in this motherfucker, but at least you're finally getting it. And the whole horseman? Yeah, that's great. Horses are uh, refueled by the environment. They don't need fossil fuels, so that'd be a great uh, mode of transportation. And uh, it's high time we see somebody be able to hem this shit up in the apocalypse. All right, I don't know about this kingdom or this uh, King Ezekiel. Why does it always have to have some big theocracy bullshit involved? And I don't know exactly what use a tiger will be in the apocalypse. Seems like it'd be more of a burden trying to supply that thing with some fresh and tainted meat every day, especially the amount it needs. More than likely, that'd be humans. So, I don't, I don't know. What Just to know think. something is fucked up with these pigs making them eat the dead like that. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but uh, I'm guessing it's not good. Every place has its fucked up secrets. This place is no exception. They are a bit playing house, but at the same time, I think there you would come across people that aren't you know, depressed, and they found a way to survive in the harshest of conditions. You look around the world, there's always species and even people in the harshest of conditions, and they find a way to be happy and live fulfilled lives. And I'm guessing the apocalypse would be no different. And so it's kind of cool that there's these people out there who can have a choir and play house when there's all this shit happening. You know, whatever helps them get through kind of realistic dude i love this king's bodyguard jerry i think is his name that motherfucker's cool as shit deuces that motherfucker still got a sense of humor he can get a shitty grin too he'd be me in the apocalypse what the fuck man cool character at first i thought this kingdom thing was a religious thing uh, i'm glad to say that it's not however it's more like uh He's some kind of LARPer or something. He's like an apocalypse LARPer. <laughs> Live action role player. Lightning bolt motherfucker. What the hell? But it's, it's okay. Alright, I'm beginning to like this Ezekiel dude. Why does he care? Because it makes him feel good. That's kind of my mentality. And I can't help but care about people. So, I can empathize with that. And in that way... I can feel that dude, and that's pretty real, man, and that's pretty real of him, observationally, to be able to understand himself like that. A little bit of introspection. Pretty good if you ask Why me. Why do I feel that this is the Carol's about to die episode? <laughs> and what the hell is she running for and from? I don't understand her mentality. And she doesn't bother to explain herself to anyone, so hard to imagine what she's trying to do she's not happy going because she gets beat up not happy staying she feels confined what the hell do you want woman? i don't know if old ezekiel's putting the moves on carol or something bad's about to happen man i don't see how you can walk around with that motherfucking tiger i don't give a shit if you saved his life or not as soon as that motherfucker gets hungry he's gonna have his old boy's head in its mouth you know fuck that well that was the end of that shit so, I don't know. Nothing really happened this time. They found a new place, met a couple new people, but not a lot of drama. I guess that's it for this one. Not a lot of reaction. Just some weird shit happened. Anyway, till next time, this is Socrates, and I'm out. Peace.